President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, parried questions on his reported entry into the 2023 presidential election on the platform of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. He said God will determine the next step in his political career. Lawan spoke while responding to questions from State House reporters after joining other residents of the Federal Capital Territory on a Salah homage to President Muhammadu Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja. The Yobe-born politician who said people would have a place to contest elections when the economy and country were stabilized called on citizens to shun partisanship and work towards making the country better organized. Lawan said the country would have been in a better condition by now, but for two recessions and the COVID-19 pandemic. Both Muslims and Christians uh, over the Ramadan period. And that is to say that we, as a nation, as a people, had the opportunity to get closer to God, seek his face, seek his interventions in our individual lives and our national life. And I'm sure that we have prayed hard uh, for God's intervention in the affairs of our country and giving our leaders direction and supporting them all through uh, to see to the good governance of this nation. We have learned so many lessons and these lessons are supposed to live with us after Ramadan and after Lent. Sacrifice is one of them that we are supposed to sacrifice as individuals for the sake of others and for the sake of our nation. This country can be the best country in the world, can be the uh, most peaceful country in the world. But one thing must be achieved. That is to say that we as people see ourselves as each other's uh, brother's keeper, that we, we surrender our individual uh, comforts for the, for the growth and development and stability and peace of our nation. And I'm sure that this period of Lent and, and Ramadan would have taught us all those. And um, going forward, we should continue to observe those things that we observed during the, the Ramadan and the Lent period. So we, we, we have learned a lot of lessons, and um, uh, God will continue to be with us as a nation, uh, especially as an administration, let me say, that we have been interrupted by nature when COVID struck. Uh, at the beginning of 2020 or at the end of 2019. This uh, disrupted many of our developmental programs and projects. But all the same, this administration uh, by the bullet and uh, went ahead to come up with strategies, projects and programs that ensured that we came out of recession after we went into two recessions because of the COVID and its uh, adversary uh, impacts. And today we are happy to say that we are still making progress, but we would have done far better if we hadn't had uh, the COVID uh, interruption. So I, I, I believe that as, as, as a nation, we are moving in the right direction. And uh, President Mohamed Bari has given us the leadership that we need. And all that we need to do is to continue to support our leaders, continue to support our government, and is in the best interest of everyone. Let no politics, let no partisanship, let no sentiments derail any of our programs and projects. Because you need to have a Nigeria first if you are running for uh, to take over uh, government at whatever level. You need to have a country, you need to have a stable country, you need to have a peaceful country in the first place. And if you do that, you can contest, for example. But as individuals, we have a debt with the history. How much do we give to our nation? How much do we sacrifice for the sake of others in, 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 in our communities and in our, in, in, in our country? That determines a lot how far we can go. Because if we decide to be selfish, then I'm sorry, we may not make that kind of progress that we believe can take us to the Eldorado.